So this is you are this you are writing a chapter in the history of the Hopi book. All of you are going to be mentioned. You will be uh, on the page forever for many generations of children to read. Very important responsibility, and you are carrying it. So as you take that gourd of water or a planting stick, you have to focus on, on a prayer. And as your feet hits the ground, it sends out the message. All directions. That's why we run. You've seen what water can do. You've seen Katrina. That's the power of water when it gets angry. And that same power can bring people healing power, not only amongst the people, but throughout the world. So as you run, remember it. This is not just something for fun or curiosity. You are doing this for a purpose. Yes, we should do it to learn, because that's, after all, our history. Pana Grande Puerto Rico, Pozo de la Virgin, Virgin's Well. <laughs> this is the one I was telling you about. It has a picture of the uh, city. Oh, it's not. Look at, look all around you. What are we going to do with all this stuff? That Negative. water was coming from Smoky Mountain. I want to thank them. Let's give them a big hand. And this water is from some Northern Saskatchewan, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Okay, this has been in our family for um, two generations. It comes from the um, Spider Mount where we were yesterday. It was um, at the end part of it. It was created there. And um, it comes from um, my great um, grandmother. She was a um, stick spider clan. And it's all natural clay. It's um, fire with natural, the natural firing, mm -hmm. and it's waterproofed with um, cedar pitch. Wow. Yep. Mm, Are you the only girl on the trip? No. No? But I'm the youngest. You're the youngest? How old are you? Twelve. No, it's sad that the Fort Worth waterfront itself is only looking at privatized water. We're going to take our message there also, hoping that one person within the waterfront cannot only think from his mind, his pocket, but from his heart. That's what we need to do tonight, to become one, so that we can come back into balance. But right now we're so out of balance. But this is where the balance begins again in the hope for the future, for our children that are still coming. Because all living things is water, and because water is hydrogen, two parts hydrogen, 
hydrogen is what fuels the sun. So it's an incredible amount of energy that all of you have in your body because you're mostly hydrogen people in air. And so the thing is, the power of the water can bond people or it can destroy people. It has dual roles. Throughout our history and the storytelling of our ancient peoples, there is a line that is told from generation to generation. Without the tellings of old, we could not survive as the indigenous people. But there was a legend told, a story of the great bird. This today is known as a condor and of the most powerful of the native peoples telling the eagle. It was said in time, there will be a bringing forth to all that is of this creation of world. The condor will come from the south, the eagle will come from the north. And it is said of the two, when they are brought to actual pairing, this is now the beginning of what is to be a time of peace. So in this profound statement of seeing the condor from the south and the eagle feather from the north and being brought forth at a time of such an auspicious occasion of gathering such as this, we know now that this was destined. This was told in the ancestry now we have got the ability and the blessing to see the fruition. It is now our responsibility to know that with this, we have responsibility to unfold it in the most appropriate way. Our people have simply said, let heart take lead. With this, the unfolding shall come into beautiful manifestation.